Hi everyone. Uh, in this video I'm going to offer you some tips on how to draw sheep with a variety of media including charcoal, chalk, pen and so on. And this is an example of some sheep that I, I drew this year with uh, charcoal and chalk. Here are a selection of some materials I'm going to use. I have uh, chalk, charcoal, uh, eraser, topper, I have some pens, ink pens, I have pencils, 4B, 2B and a 5B. And then I also have a board with two sheets of uh, coloured paper just taped onto it. You can see there and a bit of newsprint on the back of the board for support. Um, you could use brown paper, cheap brown paper, if you wanted to do this as well. So here I am in the field with my chair, my equipment and some sheep and I hope the ram doesn't attack me. So the sheep are very suspicious of me and they're, they're standing still and staring at me so I've taken the opportunity while they're standing still to do some very quick um, line drawings, really quick line drawings of them in their various stances. Um, so when I'm drawing the sheep, I'm kind of looking at, we'll say, the, the head, shape-wise, ears. I'm looking the whole time, or most of the time, at the sheep. I'm not really measuring anything, because this is, because I'm drawing from life, there's a good chance that sheep is going to move um, at any second. So I'm just sort of describing the, the shape of the sheep really, really roughly, and the legs, the, you know, the two front legs are, are quite close together. Um, and then further back you have the hind leg and uh, once I get the basic shape I can kind of look at tone and things like that later short down those ears now they're coming that little bit closer to me so I've managed to capture the uh, sheep and a little lamb beside her very, very loosely, very roughly. So I'm using some chalk now to uh, add a little bit of tone to the body of the sheep. When the sun is coming out. A little bit of charcoal on the, the lamb. Um, now I'm going to use the pencil over the, the chalk to just sort of hint at some of the details so for example her eyes her face is, is that little bit um, more grey-ish than we'll say her body her ears are actually quite dark except she, she has a tag so I might leave a little circle for the tag and just work in a little bit of shadow in there so now I'm using a little bit of pen um, with the charcoal and chalk uh, to describe the sheep they've, they're a bit more relaxed now so they're sitting down so there's a sheep right in front of me and uh, I'm just looking at her her starting with her body shape so using the pen you could use the pencil to begin with if you're maybe not confident about drawing straight with the pen um, she's looking back at me at the moment so I kind of have to try and just describe her as quick as I can and then her legs Two front legs, hind leg, and there's a bit of space between the two hind legs. Her little lamb is lying down on the ground beside her, so I see very little of the lamb. It's like a little, a little hill uh, with a, a kind of a, a, a gap, and then a neck, hint of a neck, and then the little face, and the ears are sticking up. I'm going to use a little bit of charcoal on her face. And on her legs. And this little fella is quite dark as well. Some 
chalk now. So my strokes are kind of short little downward strokes. Almost like the, the, the fleece itself is falling downwards. I'm also using a little bit of charcoal on the ground to describe the grass um, kind of give a little bit of tone. So the idea with these drawings really is not about doing a very, very detailed um, work to begin with. You're just trying to get used to the forms and shapes of the sheep. Um, look at them in terms of tone very simply what's light what's dark what's in between and just get used to new materials maybe if you haven't used charcoal or pen or so on um before you know just get used to it first before you start putting pressure on yourself to maybe be doing more detailed drawings and i think drawing from life um is good because the forms are there in front of you they're not flattened by uh, photography and um, you have to work quite quickly because at any instant the sheep will move or can walk away or um, decide they don't want to life model for you anymore. Okay, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks very much.